All right, guys, time for a workbench update. Kind of a world premiere here as well. Uh, let's just get it started. Uh, single hopper fertilizer tender. Here's the uh, here's here's your your um, auger for that. Um, so you can see, tried to detail out that interior the best I could. There's a couple little pieces that just need filed off. I mean, this literally just came off the printer, so uh, I'm just testing it to kind of see how it's gonna go. Um, so go ahead and pull that. Yeah, more, more filing to do there just to clean all that stuff up, but no big deal. Got a nice ladder back here. I was happy that printed straight. I was afraid that might warp in printing. Um, one thing I noticed on these green lights, so I made these for these green lights, uh, I'm gonna have to raise <laughs> raise the frame just a little bit, otherwise it's gonna roll like that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is just gonna fit perfect on a stock frame green light, so pretty, pretty, uh, pretty excited about that so I kind of can't wait to get this cleaned up and painted and uh, mounted up correctly I hope <laughs> um, the other thing I'm working on and if you guys are on Instagram you saw this I mean one of the other things so I've had this this for a while this uh, dual hopper and uh, so to make this fit on a green light uh, Chevy C60 I had to extend that frame with some brass there so just some brass C channel and uh, that kind of goes in there, and there you go. We got ourselves a, a, a dual hopper tender. Um, this guy, if you have been watching, uh, or if you saw Instagram the other day, uh, this is going to be a service truck. So uh, com getting a complete repaint as far as cab goes, that way it can match the tool bed. Um, but anyway, there's that. Uh, if you guys were on the live stream, you saw this. I don't know that that's the tires that are going on this. But it might be the tires that go on this. <laughs> might as well use them. They're off a big bud, so you might as well might as well get me some. Put on a new hitch back there with the PTO. Got to do rails and all that stuff yet. Mirrors and all that fun, fun things. Um, so if I move this off to the side for just a minute. Um, so it's it's cluttery right now. But the the thing is, there's a lot of product uh, projects finishing, uh, getting ready to come off the workbench, or you know maybe waiting on painted parts to get dry. Uh, so, you know, you can't just kind of like sit here with a clean workbench if you're going to make stuff. So, next project in is a 20 series John Deere. This is going to get the uh, CD Models kit, which is, in my opinion, one of the best detail kits probably ever made, if not the best detail kit ever made. What's awesome about this is uh, they built all this stuff, and it was Brian Weir that did it. Uh, built all this stuff out of brass first, and then Dave at CD Models cast it for him and for us, um, <laughs> including the wheels. Just killer, killer work there. I just that, that Brian Weir, he man, he's just he's just on a different planet as far as building goes. So there's that. Gonna finish this puppy out. Oh, I just super glued myself to my phone. Um, so a lot of work yet to do on this. I just test fitting that. That is just that is not finally there. I uh, got to lop off these front weights. Got to lop off this, uh, the whole front assembly because this will get a steerable front end. Um, pull the cab off. Um, I don't believe I'm going to split the casting. I'm just going to fill and paint. I hope, <laughs> and I will have to get some 20 series decals, unfortunately, to make that happen. And um, right now decals are hard to come by because there's some question marks in the industry, but I'll find some. Uh, other thing I'm working on here is a um, disc chisel. So I just got wheels and tires. Those are drying in the paint booth right now. And uh, that'll be done. I've got, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do like three or four in that color. And then we'll do a few other colors just to, um, this, so this is, this is like technically the color that should be. It's what I was designed, it was designed after, but uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do some other colors just for fun and uh, because people like them. And then I am sure you guys have by this point have seen my versatiles, uh, versatile kits. So this is uh, front step, rails, 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 more rails, <laughs> um, flasher bar, uh, handle up there, all the uh, fixins back here, and then uh, more rails over here. So I think this kit looks sweet. I think it takes this tractor and puts it over the top, in my opinion just makes it a great tractor try to detail that out the best I could anyway so um, you know so so let me rephrase that I tried to detail that out the best I could without breaking the bank um, 
because what I'm finding and like most of the requests I get, if I'm honest, is um, guys want tractors in, let's say, the $50 to $80 price range. This is going to be on the lower end of that for sure. This will be around $60 or $65. Bucks. Um, and that seems like reasonable for most people. What I'm, what I'm definitely finding is my market for 100 and let's say 100 to 100 and you know 40 or 50 dollar tractors is pretty small, which is understandable to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, how could you turn this into a hundred plus dollar tractor? Easy. Uh, we're talking total repaint, fill in uh, this seam back here and then do some detail work here with cylinders and all that sort of thing, drive shaft, et cetera, et cetera. Um, just not willing to do that, to be honest with you. Uh, it, I, it, the, like, it's just not worth it for the two guys that would want this tractor. So uh, I can pop out you know, several of these and uh, kind of keep the funds going to uh, develop other parts and kits and things like that. So I like these a lot, though. This is super cool. Um, just like I've kind of kicked around the idea of using a versatile on my display, but I don't know. Um, maybe later on when I get to the Dogtown Ag portion, uh, you know, the fertilizer dealer, when I get to build that out, maybe they'll run some versatiles. We'll see. I just think they're really good looking tractors, especially with this detail kit. Obviously, it needs painted and everything, but it looks cool. And then uh, truck beds working on these fresh off the printer. And um, got three of those to put on and put together. And I've got the trucks in mind for those. Just haven't had a chance to do it yet. And then I've got some other uh, things I'm going to add to some other trucks. And then back here is just sort of rubble right now. Those versatiles are awaiting decals. So I'm kind of just on hold putting those together. Um, there you go. This is the bed off of green light. These are super easy to tear apart. Uh, I think I'll do a video on that here maybe later this week or next week. So. All right, guys, that'll do it. I thought maybe you would appreciate... Oh, you know, one more thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That won't do it. <laughs> I'm making a drag racing Dodge Challenger. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of fun. So I'm going to put a racing seat in there. Uh, let's see. Something like that. Um, I've obviously built a wing. We did the hood in flat black. Um, we did, like, the rear valance in flat black painted some black back here i've got some drag tires to go on it um i don't know it's just something I, it's just kind of fun like i just kind of wanted to i kind of want to do a few custom cars just to sort of do it i don't know i like cars too just as much as i like tractors so and i've never really done custom hot wheels or uh, green lights or m2s or whatever so all right guys guess that'll do it for this one really appreciate you guys watching man this last weekend was awesome uh really appreciate you guys visiting the website and uh, all the purchases of the trucks and things like that just 